Hello, beloveds, and welcome to the channel. I'm Erica. I am a psychic medium and an oracular priestess. I hope that you are doing wonderfully today. Um, you guys have seen the title. You guys know why you're here. This is a message for the chosen ones, for the beautiful star seeds and cosmic beings here upon earth at this time who have great work, great missions to do. I'm gonna go ahead and just clear, 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 clear. Those of you guys who are regulars here, I don't have my hat on today. Um, it's very windy outside, so my hair is just like windblown and crazy, but Clear the space really quickly. So this morning on my morning walk, I, I received a very powerful download message in regards to Ankh, to the Ankh, to Ankh medicine, to the Ankh essence, the primordial essence of the Ankh energy and frequency. Okay. So when I close my eyes like that, it's because I'm channeling, I'm receiving. So the message that I got was, it, it was a mantra, a mantra connecting to uh, the Ankh and also a mantra connecting very strongly to the Isis and Hathor lineages. Okay, but it expands beyond that. So I need you guys to know that you may not resonate with the Isis temples or the Hathor lineage or ancient Egypt. Um, I'm hearing Kemet, ancient Kemet, ancient Sumeria. So a lot of you guys, you know, you, you've been around for a while, okay? Um, which is why you're here because I'm an old soul. I'm an ancient, ancient primordial energy and um, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. So the mantra, actually, let me go ahead and write it out because I shared it over on my Instagram story. And right after I did the video in my story, because I was just talking like this in my story about the download, about the onk medicine, right after I was done with that, I've just been getting the most powerful, beautiful confirmations and, 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 and you know messages from the universe. So right after I posted that, I click out of my story and then boom, right there on my home, like on my homepage on Instagram at the very top, the very first video. Okay. Whoop. I keep knocking this down, um, but I want it near me. Okay. Um, it's for me, there's actual ancient water. If you can see the little bubbles, there's ancient water. And this for me is so strong of Lomeria and Atlantis. I just can feel feel the energy okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to just allow you guys to tune and connect to this energy i knocked it down on accident but we know there's no such thing as an accident so there you go you're at the ocean at the beautiful blue crystalline waters of lumeria of atlantis Okay, we have Mintaka coming through, Mintankan star seeds. All right, um, very water clear, you know, just very activated water. Okay, so the water energy is coming through very strongly. Um, anyways, I know I'm kind of like bouncing around with channeling, but let me go ahead and write out the mantra so you guys can see how it came through for me as I say it. Ah, ha, mana. It's almost like aha, right? Like an aha moment, which I actually just realized that. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. Aha, like aha, aha moment, right? Um, aha, mana. Aha, mana. Aha, mana. So this is the mantra. 
Ahach mena, ahach mena, ahach mena, ahach mena. So I'm saying it so you guys really, to, like you're really connecting the way that I received it. Okay, so this ahach mena is a, is, a, is a mantra, an ankh mantra. And it is to connect you and tune you in to the essence of the ankh unity consciousness balanced masculine feminine with god's source it also represents divine union the masculine and feminine coming together as one aha manat ah manat and so it is okay so we're five minutes in let's go ahead and pull some cards so that is the mantra to invoke the ankh essence the ankh magic which is you know um very powerful, very protective, very protective. If you feel like you need extra protection or just for protection, wear an ankh, have an ankh on your altar, or just tune in in meditation, or just you're going about your day, aha mana, aha mana, recite it, invoke it, call it in, surround yourself in it. But I said, um, the guidance was, if you want to you know, invoke the onk. I mean, just visualizing the onk and tuning into the energy is very powerful. But what I was guided to share is to repeat the mantra three times. Aha mena, aha mena, aha mena. Do it from the heart, do it from the soul, and do it with pure trust and faith. Pure trust and faith. You have to. Because... It's a very powerful energy to connect with, and I don't know, by the power of three, the perfect holy trinity, right? Okay, so the very first card out is card number 21, and it's the light seeker. The light seeker. Okay, so now that I'm like realizing I did not grab the book for this deck because I want to read it to you guys. So give me one moment <laughs> or a few moments. Um, shoot, I don't know where I put the book for this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, hold on one second. Sorry, my loves. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know what I did with the book. message. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I turned the light up a little bit. I was like, why is it so dark? Okay. Well, I will just channel to get the messages. I'm like, is it under here? Hold on. Nope. That's divine masters. Okay. Well, wasn't meant to be, I guess. No, it's not in there. Okay. Card number 21. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Card number 21 is the light seeker, which is you. Seeking the light. It's about a light quest, the visionary. Mental strength and resilience. It's green, too. This is giving me Archangel Raphael vibes. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for being in this space. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go forth, Archangel Michael, for protection. Wrap me in a blue cocoon of your light. Thank you for bringing forth your divine sword of the fiery blue flame and divine truth to cut away all 
that does not serve the collective, that does not serve my viewer any longer, all that does not serve me any longer. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for coming through and healing, healing after the cords being cut, after the energy being cleared, healing. Okay, so you are a powerful healer. Some of you guys might be working very closely with Archangel Raphael, or Archangel Raphael is just showing up for you you know, in readings or you, you go on Instagram or something and you see, boom, there's an Archangel Raphael card or, you know, a message from Archangel Raphael. This is a time where you have had to tap into extreme mental strength. You've had to tap into extreme, um, it says resilience. Like you've had to be so resilient. You've had to lift yourself up over and over and over and over again. So many blockages in the heart chakra, in the heart space. Betrayal. You've been devoted. You've been loyal. You have given love. You have given compassion. You have given your energy and your time through many lifetimes to situations, to people that were not 1111 deserving of your energy, of your love. And we, like I always say, what do I say, you guys? We tap our hearts and we send them love. We tap our hearts and we send them love. We send love to the situation. We send love. But that does not mean that we have to be around it or throw ourselves in it. That does not mean this is, this is about healthy, clear-cut boundaries. And if you are in a situation or around people where, you, where your boundaries are being... Um, tested where you're being um provoked by darker or low vibrational energies or you know where they're trying to or just are triggering you trying to trigger you okay this is about being resilient tapping into that mental strength and going no <laughs> i do not accept your mental abuse or your energetic abuse have you heard of energetic abuse energetic abuse for me is people who are passive aggressive or people who write like they're pissed off, they're in a bad mood and they're walking around and they're, you know, uh, slamming a cupboard or a car door or walking around just real, uh, 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 you know? And then it's like, you know, what's, is, are you okay? Is anything wrong? And it's like, no, I'm fine, right? People like that, that are just passive aggressive, that are energetically abusive. <sighs> okay. All right, you are the visionary, the light seeker. The light is within you, okay? Like, you don't have to seek it out. It is within you. It is within you. You are on a light quest. You are the one that others will seek out through your lifetime, through your work. Others will seek you out. You are the, you are the light that people seek. The light seeker, it is you but it is also the reflection of you from others you are the light and the way and the love you are you are the light and the way shower um that you wish you had you are the one that you wish you are the leader that you wish you had going through your journey someone to you know help you someone to guide you someone to you know um, say it's okay, you know, this is normal, like, yes, it's hard, you've got this, you are resilient, okay, you are that for other people, you are the leader that you wish you had had or had, it's not about going outside of yourself and finding that, it's about becoming that, I just see very negative energies around a lot of you guys, whether this is at work, you know, your, uh, you could live in like an apartment. I'm seeing like an apartment complex. You could, okay, there, I'm being, okay. I have to look at the bottom of the deck. I have to see the card on the bottom of the deck because it's like, it's coming through. That it's very important for you guys. So I'm also seeing seven, seven, seven. And then I saw the 11, 11, and then I'm also getting the one, one, one. Okay. Eight, one, eight, four, one, three, two, one, two, huh, three, six, nine, six, three, nine. Some of you guys are getting these very powerful, um, and are, like numerology vibrations and healings coming through to you, but it's also in, you know, it's also messages, but the, the numbers, and I've been talking a lot about this lately, the numbers carry their own vibration. So if you're seeing 444, yes, it is a legion of angels. Your angels are with you. They want you to know you're supported. You have angels around you, 444, that is the, the angels, right? 
But the number four, the vibration of four, triple three, four, four, four times three is amplified. Okay, it's amplified. Um, so you actually, when you see 444, yes, it's a message, it's a confirmation, it's a sign, but it's also a healing, okay? So keep that in mind. So when this, when you see this, it's like you're receiving some type of like, you know, healing of the number four, which is all about foundation, stability, you know, your home life, your, you know, all kinds, like if you, if you look up like the fourth house or you just look up the numerology of four and what it means, you'll, you'll know what you're receiving in these moments, okay? Same as five, the fives and the threes and the ones and the twos and the, all the things, right? <sighs> Bottom of the deck. <laughs> I, I keep like breathing out because it's just so much energy coming through you guys. Like I can't even tell you. Like I need to like, I need, this is, okay, let's take an honest moment with each other. Let's take an honest moment with one another. And I would love, love for you to comment down below in the comment section. And please share with me your shadow. Please share with me your darkness. Please share with me what has been nagging you, pulling you, holding you, attacking you. What is it? Who is it? What have you been feeling? I'll tell you. If it wasn't for my light work, you guys, I swear, like, you know, I would, I would, I would not be here on YouTube right now. <laughs> okay, like. There is a lot of energy and those of you guys who are thinking of starting your own platforms or if you have your own platform, it is a lot of energetic responsibility, a lot, okay? Because you have so many eyes upon you. So much energy directed towards you. That's why a lot of times I won't be fully on camera. I'll just do my hands, you know, because I'm protecting, I'm protecting myself. But I've like recently got this very powerful message from my guides and from God's source that Erica, you are untouchable. You are untouchable. And those who try to send evil eye your way or jealousy energy your way or low vibrational energy your way or hatred your way or, you know, envy and, you know, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. Because yes, I feel it. There's a lot of people who tune in. Um, you know, I, I I know even people who like maybe know me or know of me, like, you know, um, they may tune in and watch and you know, I can feel the very judgy, very low vibrational energies, but for the most part, and that's why I'm saying this, because I think for a lot of you, you're getting a lot of that energy directed towards you too, whether you're, you know, on a platform, this could be, you know, your social media, like pretty much mostly everyone, unless you like have just really been like, no, I don't want any social media, which I don't blame you at all. I do not blame you. I, oh my gosh, that's like my dream, right? Um, you, you, you have, you just have a lot of energy on you. This could be at work. You could have a coworker who's just like envious of your, you know, your resilient energy, your, your mental strength. You know, maybe people gravitate towards you or you just like are very abundant or you're just like amazing at what you do. And other people just are like, ugh, you know, ugh, right? And they have every ability, every, you know, they have every ability to step up to the plate and play it big. I'm gonna have to move this right now. They have every ability to step up to the plate and play it big. I'm just gonna put it on my, on my, on my lap right now, but that works. Woo, love it. But they choose not to. Okay, like, and that's okay, that's okay, but I'm, I'm, I need to stress this very bigly. So let's look at the bottom of the card, or the bottom of the deck, because I'm feeling the bottom card here, it ties into what I'm saying right now. So let's just see, it could be totally wrong, <laughs> but protection is big. That's why I got Ahamana, 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 because Ahamana, it invokes the Ankh magic, the, the Ankh protection, seals you in golden temple codes of protection. Creates a barrier. If anyone sends things your way, it bounces off, it ricochets back to whoever it was. Now, you guys know me, I never do return to sender. I was guided a very, I used to. I used to do return to sender because when I was newer on my journey, I thought, you know, that's, that's what I always saw people doing to, right? Clear energy and transmute energy, just return to sender. And always kind of felt kind of weird to me. Like, so someone sends you like evil energy or whatever, and then you send it back to them. Like that just seems very weird, but I did it 
Then one day, like a while back, this was a while back, um, I very clearly received guidance of, you know, do not do return to sender. Do not return to sender. What you do in these cases is you lovingly take the energy that is not yours, that is maybe being projected upon you, whatever it is, from whoever it is, just cover all bases, all energy that is not mine, that does not belong to me, any energy that is being projected upon me, that is not for my highest and greatest good, that is not in the alignment of love of God's source. I send it out back into the universe, transmuting it into source love, harming no one and no thing. And so it is, it is done like that. That's what I do. You don't have to do that, but I'm just sharing with you because I'm a teacher. So I, I teach and I share, right? Um, like someone left a comment on a reading yesterday and they were like, you know, basically like, you know, I fast forwarded into your video and you're just like explaining things. And honestly, I just like readings and I'm like, well, then I'm sorry. This is not your channel because I'm not a tarot reader. I'm not here just pumping out, you know, to get views and to get, you know, have just, oh, I just want my channel to grow. I just want to hit 100K. Yeah, that all that's definitely, and all that's going to happen. I'm not worried about that at all. That's the difference. You know, I could be pumping out, I could be pumping out 12 Zodiac readings a day and I would probably be at 150, 200K because that's how a lot of people grow their channels is through doing, they just pump out a bunch of Zodiacs, pump out Zodiacs, pump out Zodiacs. I've seen several channels that are like now at 100K that like kind of started with me and that's what they did. They either did the weekly Zodiacs or daily Zodiacs. And then their channel blew up, they got the numbers, and then they stopped doing the weekly zodiacs or the daily zodiacs. And then they only do them like once a month now, etc. Right? I would be, you know, attaching extended readings to get money, just to get money on every freaking reading that I put out. And you guys know me, I hardly do that. I hardly ever do that. Okay. So I forget why I said that. What was I talking about? Just authenticity and just, oh, because I'm here as a teacher. So if you find this channel, it's because there is something for, there's something to take away from this. There's something, this is an experience. It's not a reading. This is an experience when you come here. And when you come here and you tune in with me, I activate. I'm a very strong activator. All star seeds, earth angels carry high frequencies. So they're going to be activating people too, especially the more they rise in their vibration. They affect everyone around them. But some star seeds are very, it's like a part of their, their light work. It's being like a spiritual battery pack where you just light people up. They just get activated in your presence. And that's exactly what happens when you come here. So no, I don't just do readings and throw out cards and just channel the cards and the messages, right? I'm a priestess. So I am, you know, teaching you about and helping you remember. Okay. And a lot of you guys are that. Okay. So let's see the bottom of the deck. Spirit guides. It's spirit guides, you guys, card number 30. So we have 21, which breaks down to a three. We have three, three. Thank you, Ascended Masters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Isis. Thank you, Mary Magdalene. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Melchizedek. Thank you, Toth. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Archangels. Sandathon, Shamuel, Uriel. Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Zarkiel. Thank you for being here with us, spirit guides, angels. Uh, thank you for your presence. Ahmana, Ahmana. Okay, so. Woo! Looking for signs. Did I not just talk all about the signs? I talked all about the signs and the very powerful messages. the confirmations, philosophical discussions, and supervision. You have supervision. Your supervision, okay? This is like beyond, beyond, beyond. Like you're, you're, this is about tuning in to soul family and it's almost like mind reading, right? Maybe you don't under, maybe you can't read word for word what someone is thinking, but you sure as hell pick up on what they're thinking without knowing exactly maybe word for word what they're thinking. For me, I do get words, maybe not full sentences, but I'll get words 
tuning, like I don't even try to do it because honestly it's, it can be annoying. It's just like, oh, like just shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Like I, like turn off the connectors, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's like, I just need a break, you know, from, from tuning in, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to tune in. And it's a lot physically, right? So a lot of you guys, you're tuning in, you're tuning in, you're tuning in. It's a lot physically. And then we're also receiving all of the stuff that is creating and helping us activate more of our supervision. We've got the yin and the yang here. Spirit guides. Some of you guys have a twin flame in the spiritual realm. They could also be incarnated here on earth, but you guys are very powerful guides to each other, whether you realize it or not. Your twin is coming through in the astral, in the ethers, and they are helping you. They are guiding you, and you are doing the same for them. And even if it's not a twin flame, this is your soul tribe, your soul family. But there is love here, yin and yang. There's balance and soulmates. I'm hearing divine order. Divine order. Everything is happening as it should. You have you've been you've been balancing your inner feminine, your inner masculine. Okay, and now is a time of creating magic. Now is a time where you are it is safe for you to expand. It's safe for you to dive into your gifts. It's safe to tap into your true cosmic spiritual side. And if people around you don't understand that, or if people think you're going crazy or you've lost your damn mind, or they talk shit, because <laughs> they do, they do, they talk shit, right? What happened to such and such, you know? I experience the same thing, I hear the same things. I already know, like, you know, I, I see it so far ahead that like I already know the vibe of the of the gathering or the the birthday party or the event or whatever it is like I already know how it's gonna be how it's gonna feel what people are gonna be thinking the words that will run through people's minds I see it all before it happens and then I show up at a gathering or a family event or you know somewhere or whatever and it's just boom 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 like just worth you know. Okay, and then after the spirit guides, this is past life. Look at 24, card number 24. 24 is a very special number for me, 2442. Also 23 and 18 are very, very powerful numbers for me. Um, sorry guys, I'm like, it's so weird like not having my hat on right now, but um, I like it, I like it. I don't know, I just wanted, you know, my, my crown to be very just, you know, not that wearing a hat like blocks it or anything. Um, some people might say, yes, it's silly to me. It's no, <laughs> a piece of fabric is not going to like shut down your connection to source. Okay. Like let's get real. Um, but anyways, it just feels funny. So ah, that's why I keep like kind of like, this feels weird. This feels weird touching my hair and stuff. Okay. So past life, a cultural experience it is behind you and regression. Some of you guys are being guided or you are doing a lot of past life regression work right now, whether you realize it or not, okay? This could rise up in you as anger, irritability, mixed emotions, mixed feelings, and maybe you just don't know why you're, you're feeling so just all over, like I've, I've explained it like someone's pulling on your arms before, like come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. It really does feel like that, you know? And this is the uh, division, this is the separation of the old, which is why it says it is behind you because this is the new version of you. This is the new, look at, templated, upgraded, like these, these very ancient, beautiful templates. Are, are being activated. You might be familiar with the emerald tablets, okay? Today, earlier, I received, I was on a live watching my beautiful soulmate, a priestess, a star. When I say soulmate, we are literally sisters. Like, we've been sisters, literal blood sisters, um, and, and priestesses together for very, for many hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. Um, so, we finally reconnected and she did her first live today here on YouTube. And thank you for those of you guys who were there because it made me so happy. There was like, I think like five or six people like here, cause I posted it on the community page. Cause I'm like, you know, I'm full empress, high priestess. Like I'm not, a, I'm not threatened by other people's 
success or followers or subscribers or attention or whatever it is. You know what I mean? That is not, I don't care about that. Although a lot of people are naturally. And this is why um, my soulmate sister, Sophia, hello, beautiful soul. If you see this, I love you. Um, we were brought together to amplify the true divine feminine power and anchor a lot in. We will be definitely working together, um, probably not too far in the future, going live together and doing a lot of channeling and healing and you know reading and things like that. Because she's more channel healer, um, but she also reads, pulls cards, things like that. And I'm more like Oracle Connect, you know, Akashic past life readings, tuning into your soul's past and journeys. Um, but I also am doing, she's inspiring me. I was already feeling it and you guys know I've been talking about it. And then I met her this week, like, a, like now almost a week. And it's just like, it's like coming home, like how a twin flame would feel or whatever. It feels like you, you've come home to one another. Like it's, you just, it's like that, right? So many of you guys have a lot of past life soulmates. You have a lot of spirit guides who are incarnated here. So for me, Sophia is a beautiful guide for me. She is a, a friend, a sister, a goddess, a priestess. Um, I love her so much. And she's a guide for me where I'm learning from her. There's, there's, there's little nuggets of golden, beautiful wisdom that she carries that I will connect to. And it'll help. Like I keep saying, and we are connecting, it's an activation. This is what's happening for you. You are coming into soul tribe members. Soul brothers, soul sisters. You might be called to go to a spiritual retreat or a spiritual gathering. I'm hearing like a drumming circle. So for some of you guys, it could be like a drumming circle, like in your local area or you're invited by someone. And the message is a green light. Green light, go. Go to the drumming circle. Go to the spiritual retreat. Go to, you know, whatever. A weekend, you know, I just want to get away. Go. Because you might just be aligned with or, or come into alignment with a soul family member. Because very heavily right now, the universe is trying to do that. In fact, let's just pull on that really quickly. You guys, are you kidding me? I just spoke of the emerald tablets. And here on the bottom of the deck, oh, this is a different deck. Where did, oh, oh, because I put that away, I grabbed this. It's the emerald tablet. <laughs> and this is a different deck. I thought this was, I thought I was picking up the same deck, but I actually put it over there. The emerald tablets, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. You are now consciously manifesting because you're awake. You can see very clearly through the illusion. Okay, but there is a lot of em emerald tablet activating here. Okay, and you cannot make this stuff up as I'm talking about soul family coming together, meeting your, 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 your soul tribe, the people who will be with you till the day you, you transition out of this avatar body and back into, you know, the spiritual realm. These are the people coming in and they show up. And even you guys being here with me and me being here with you, we know we're soul family. We know we're soul tribe. You guys, I always say that. I've been saying that ever since I came to YouTube. Three years ago, I said, you guys are my soul family. This is, this is my family. But you will meet other people like me and Sophia where it is, be, it, it's like you guys have so many past life connections. Stars align. See, the stars are aligning right now, you guys. Three, 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 three. As I say that, thank you, <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Masters. Thank you. Remembering home and your soul family. Remembering home. And I literally just said, it feels like coming home. Like how you would feel with a very beautiful past life soulmate romantically. But it's platonic. Like you just feel so much love for this person. It's like you're experiencing all the experiences kind of. Like, you know, you're tapping into the past life uh, experiences and love and connection that you guys have shared through many lifetimes where we've been in, you know, very difficult situations. We've been in very scary situations. We've, you know, been family and we've, right? So there's a lot there that comes up again once you write soul recognition. So going into that, soul family, remembering home. And then you have the Merkaba, transcendence, ascension, and you are rising up. That's literally what this whole message is about, okay? So going back to the Ankh, going back to the Ankh. That's so funny. I spoke of the emerald tablets and then coming home. It's just like crazy how, right? 
I, I just love it. I love divination, how it confirms. Okay, the Merkaba is a very powerful activation. Some of you guys could be working with Archangel Metatron, or maybe you want to call in and work with Archangel Metatron because, you know, Archangel Metatron helps us so powerfully with our actual ascension, with our transcendence, with like easing us into it kind of a thing. You are rising up. This is powerful, powerful activations happening and powerful alignment happening. Okay, my loves. If you want to learn the tarot, learn the tarot. If you if you connect with crystals, it's time to connect with the crystals. If you are, you know, um, an accountant, then it's time to tap in more to your spiritual side so that you can bring that light and frequency to the other people around you. Share your knowledge and wisdoms. Don't hide, don't dim, don't dim your light. Isis is here and Mary Magdalene are both here. Isis here and Mary Magdalene here. So Mary Magdalene is coming through and um, yeah. <laughs> Yes, do not, do not dim your golden power, beloved. It is time to swim into the golden vistas of what you came here for. Reach beyond the limits. Reach beyond the horizon. It is time for adventure. It is time for love. It is time to connect with that third eye energy. You are not just tuning in to the 3D world that you are standing upon now. You are connecting to many dimensions many places, many energies. You can astral travel, you can go anywhere, anytime. You're being called to certain places. You connect with the ley lines, the grid work. Mystery schools, you're being called to mystery schools, people who will guide you, lead you, teachers. It is time to rise up. You will be judged. You will be ridiculed. You have been for many, many lifetimes. And this is your lifetime. <sighs> to erase it all. And you shall. Divine union is here, beloveds. Divine union with self has called in your divine love. It is flowing in to your energy now. Your energy, your energy, your energy. Protect. You are shielded. Tune in, tune in, tune in. All chakras, very activated, kundalini rising. It is time to connect to your spiritual body, your physical vessel, your ka body. Through these connections, you will do powerful healing work. This is an activation. As I'm channeling, this is an activation. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Whew, thank you so much. Yes, exactly. Look, after the start, I pick up the deck. I was going to start shuffling. After the higher heart activation, it's dropping shields, divine love, and your heart is healed. And literally, look at this beautiful, like, Venusian red, pink, orangey, like, fruit punch type energy. 
your heart is open and look at the heart is a gateway. It's a portal. Calling things in from the heart and not from the ego mind. You know, doing things that are in alignment with your highest good and love. Right? Okay, so you, you and what did I say in the beginning? I felt it like so many just like heart blockages, just heart blockages where the heart is just like locked up like a safe. Like you can't get in. You don't, you, you don't know the code. You try and you don't know the code. Only you have the code. And it's about remembering it to unlock it. Okay, so we can clear out the safe. It's no longer locked up, right? You don't need it. You don't need to lock things away and keep them safe. It's about being open. It's about being, you know, open and receptive but the heart you've been you've been manifesting from the heart and this is a huge heart portal and then after this card dropping your shields okay so it's a time to drop shields you've been dropping shields you can have boundaries with other but this is about like dropping your walls and just being and trusting and using your telepathy and discernment and you know psychic ability and empathy to tune in this is not right for me this is okay for me i can trust this person no i can't trust this person whatever it is it's about tuning in from the heart feeling it from the heart from the soul and then you have the stellar gateway activation infinite potential you have infinite potential manifestation vortex you have been this is a very strong manifestation vortex right now Okay, so the things that you are thinking about right now and the things that you have been calling in, the vortex is open. That's what they're letting you know. Things that come in, they're going to be helping you, the, the, the people, the situations, the money, the opportunities, the healings, whatever it is. It's all helping your heart. Your heart. It's going to help your heart expand. It's going to help your heart grow. It, it expands the love bubble. It expands the love frequency. Okay, so the, the things that are coming through that you've been manifesting, they bring that expansion of the heart and love. Okay, oh, oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Like what? Look at this. Look at this interconnectedness of all of us. Like this is all of us. This is like our soul energy. We're all connected. We're all intertwined within the divine matrix. The divine matrix obviously is right like soul matrix it's the cosmic matrix it's god source matrix very different from the man made false matrix that is here on earth that we are collapsing that is collapsing right now so this card speaks of interconnectedness synchronicity and god incidences because there's no such thing as a coincidence only god incidences where it is very divine it is synchronistic like you're just mind blown. Like I can't believe this is happening to me. Like what? Okay. If you haven't been, if you haven't experienced something that makes you feel like that yet, you are about to, you will. Because this is a very blessed energy. And you're going to meet people along the path soon. Incoming. where you guys help each other, whether that is a platonic love soulmate or a romantic divine kingdom spouse, twin flame, whatever. Both, actually, for, for most of you guys, it's both. For some of you guys, this is a direct message. For some of you guys, there is something that has been worrying you, stressing you out. This feels very related to money. This feels very related to money. Money is currency money is energy and it is up to you whether you have a negative lack you know relationship with money or you have a very abundant fun like right here's the thing 4411 master numbers showing up as i say this okay here's the thing with money everything is energy okay it is time to take action in many ways. It is time to strategize, to organize, to plan about your future, about your next steps, your action. But I'm also getting that many of you guys, you that's what you've been doing. You've been taking action. Look at bottom of the deck is a 10 of swords. You've been going through extremely painful cycles where you were alone. No one understood. 
you kept things to yourself. You had no one to talk to. Maybe you've tried going to, you know, therapy, counseling, and I, you know, if that works, then I'm so happy. And if it has, then I'm so happy for you. For some of you guys, though, I'm, I'm what I'm getting receiving here is that you have tried that, but you, it, you could not connect with it fully because you could not share what was really happening, which was spiritual awakening. So you were guided to other places and information and people to help you along your path. This is what you've been through. This is what you've been overcoming. This is you guys crawling across the freaking desert with, you know, your, your, no food, no water. You feel like just giving up. And then all of a sudden there's this mirage. There's this beautiful tropical Lemurian, like Caribbean water pool. And, and you see it right there. That's your breakthrough. That's the, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. That's your dawn. Your mirage is here. The vortex is open. You have, you've, you've passed some very big tests who I'm talking to right now. You've passed some very big initiations, very difficult, very difficult initiations that would break most people. And that is what we see a lot of is people. It's too much. It's too much. And then they get lost in the grieving. They get lost in the pain. They get lost in the cycles instead of breaking free and, and, and becoming enlightened because of it. Look at this. Ten of Swords, the Sun, and then the Lovers. Are you kidding me? I said the, the end of pain cycles. You guys have done it. You've done the work. This is a while. Okay, so you're moving into this cycle where for a while, yeah, I'm not saying life is going to be absolutely rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and it's going to be all perfect and everything's just going to be, ah, for the most part, yeah, I do feel that <laughs> in a big way. Okay, there's a lot of things coming in that just light you up and you are so connected. You're so in tune with, you know, you're, you're just, you're receiving the light codes. You're being activated by the solar flares, but there is a soulmate or a twin flame out there who is also being very powerfully activated. And that's what I'm talking about because you went through this and because it cracked you open and you started emanating that beautiful light, you started diving into the light you are now in alignment, remember? Um, the yin and the yang, there it is. And look at this, you guys. In this particular deck, the lovers, they have the Merkaba between the third eyes. And we have the Merkaba activation, activation card here. Proving, confirming that you have a very powerful divine kingdom spouse out there who is also being very activated. And when you guys come together, um, or when you did come together and you come together again, whatever the situation, it's going to be very powerful. <laughs> what I'm seeing is like a, um, a, a, like a, like a, a massive blast of light. Like you guys come together the minute you come together and touch and it's through the skin, through the imprints on the hands, it's activating through the eyes. It's activating through the sound of voice. It's activating through kiss, through touch, through making divine love. It is all activating. Very powerful. Very powerful. Um, I'll just spell it S-E-X magic. And when I say that, it's in a divine way, a beautiful way, an aligned, holy union way. It's not like dark, manipulative type of S-E-X magic. Okay. So anyways, just showing here that you are living your best life. Okay. You're living your best life after a lot of pain cycles and healing, okay? This is about coming out of separation mode, isolation mode, hermit mode, and coming and stepping fully into your new cycle, your new era. Um, and because the onk represents masculine and feminine and God's source as one, you can see the top circle represents the woman, the womb, the woman. And you see, here, going into the womb, right, is the divine masculine. And here is like the bridge of them connecting with God as one. So <laughs> you may, if you purchase an ankh, you know, you can bless your ankh. You can infuse your ankh with intentions. Like, you know, when, you know, just connect with it, right? Infuse it with whatever you want. Call forth whatever you want. And if you feel guided to use the very powerful uh, Ankh mantra that I received. Ahamana. Ahamana. 
Ahamana, 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 Ahamana. Feels so good. Ahamana. My divine counterpart, wherever they are, whoever they are, protect them, shield them. Ahamanah. Ahamanah. So if you guys want to use that, say that. Like I said, it call, it invokes the Ankh essence. It invokes the Ankh magic. It invokes the Ankh protection. Okay? So... I know this was like a little all over the place and you know um i'm just you know i'm just channeling i'm just sharing i'm just allowing things to flow through i'm doing what i feel called to do oh that's what i was going to talk about earlier about a truth moment and i know we're like 50 minutes in and omg right i know it's like long but i don't care whoever this is meant for you will stay till the end you will not skip forward you will absorb this will activate you this will help bring confirmation and healing for you if you're still here, you're here for a reason. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> okay, you can find all of the different options, um, whether it's a, a, just a general psychic reading. I am a past life Akashic reader where I tune into your Akashic records and literally give detailed um, channeling of your soul's lifetimes, whatever lifetimes come through. Usually in a session, up like one to three lifetimes will come through, but you've many of you guys have had. I mean, that's just barely, barely scratching the surface of the Akashic records. Because if you're an ancient soul or someone like me, I mean, you've had thousands and thousands and thousands of lifetimes. Okay, like so. Just a little FYI, and then I also offer intuitive energetic healing, um, which is all you know, tuning into your your energy field, your auric field, your physical vessel, your mental body, your your emotional body. Um, and I'm able to remove attachments, help clear, you know, um, trauma or cords or certain things that maybe you're holding on to lessons that you have completed, but maybe you're still holding on to the baggage or the pain or the trauma of an ex. You know, I'm over that ex. I've, I've done the work, you know, I'm over them, but really there's blockages. Maybe they're still subconsciously, whatever it is. Okay. Um, it's very powerful work because it comes from my soul wisdom and my priestesshood from what I have mastered through lifetimes in mystery schools and also being a master myself. So it's all there. Um, and I would love, 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 love to work with any one of you guys who feels called. Always just like if you feel called. Okay. This is powerful with the sun. It's like this divine counterpart is being revealed to you. The manifestation vortex is powerful. I feel that this masculine for a lot of you guys um, will connect with the Melchizedek order in a big way. Um, so let me go ahead and end this message because I know it's long, um, but I just love you guys. Thank you to all of our spirit guides, to our spirit team, to our higher selves, every version, every dimension, and to... Goddess Isis, thank you, Isis, thank you, Hathor. Thank you, Bastet and Sekhmet. They have been very strong around me um, for, I don't know, a couple months now, but just again recently, because there's a lot of dark attacks. There's a lot of psychic attacks happening, not just to me, but to many starseeds. Um, you know, and it comes through differently for everyone, so that's why it's so important. Like I said, aha, mana. Protect your energy. Invoke the Ankh. Protection. Call forth Archangel Michael, Saint Germain, and the Violet Flame. The dragons, very powerful for transmuting dense energies and for protecting you against, I'm hearing, invaders of your light. So there's invaders of your light. There's invaders of your essence. So basically they want to siphon off of you. Or have been. Okay, so it's very important, my loves. If you're here, you're here for a reason. Like, this is not a joke. Like, when we say, you know, spiritual warfare, it's it's not a joke. Right? Strength, yeah. See, the strongest star seeds, the strongest ones who came here, who said, I'm going, I'm clearing my lineage, I'm going to do the healing work, I'm going to go, 
I'm going to walk through the hellfire. I'm going to be the phoenix rising from the ashes of my own, you know, old, just garbage ways, karma, trauma, whatever. And I'm going to rise up and I am going to be powerful. I am going to live my best life. I am going to be with the my, my kingdom spouse. Never again will my lineage go through toxic relationship patterns or deal with narcissists. Okay, my children, my children's children, my child, like my whole, like go, my lineage going forward and backwards. I have freed my ancestors. I am, fr I am freeing the unborn that will incarnate, so they will be strong. We broke the curse. Only the strongest, Leo, so, says something about within seven to fourteen days and during the summer. Seven to fourteen days, guys. You could be meeting the love of your life. You could receive unexpected money. I'm hearing donations. Okay, speaking of donations, um, those of you guys who do donate to my channel or you have left like a super thanks comment or something, um, whether it's a dollar, whether it's 50 or 200, it doesn't matter. I always pray that that amount, because it's it's the frequency of it just means so much to me. So it, that's why I said, I just saw 55, 55, 5, 5, 5, 5 for confirmation. See? It just means the world to me and I always pray that it is returned back to you a million fold. And so it is a whole. Okay, so thank you my loves for that. And those of you guys who are just here, thank you for your comments. Please, like I said, share with me. Um, that's what I was talking about. I keep talking about it and then I forget and I keep channeling and then I move forward. Um, the moment of truth, you know, let's be honest with each other, let's be real with each other. You guys, over the past, since January, I've been struggling very, very hard struggling um, because I've been consistently under attack um, and I've been trying to help work with my clients and do all my work and deal with the attacks and try to be strong and show up with, you know, just grace and honesty too, authenticity. Um, but in behind the scenes, I'm dealing with a lot, a lot. I've gotten physically ill. I got physically ill in January for almost for like two weeks. And then in February for like three weeks, I was sick. I got hit again. And yes, that was, you know, sickness, but that was a tax. And it's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but I spoke, you guys know, I've talked about before, um, a beautiful, you know, another high priestess energy. She's a wonderful psychic medium. And she is, you, you want to go to readers who are like, we, we, I say like the real deal because anyone can pull cards. A four-year-old can learn the tarot and pull pull a spread. Okay, it's it's like you know think of like a card game. You know you you memorize the rules and or the the meanings and right anyone could do this. It's not rocket science. But not anyone can tune in. Not anyone can just channel and pick up on the collective energies and work with people one on one and do all that. Right, that's a lot. That's a gift. Anyways, Diana Farug. Diana, and then her last name, Farooq, F-A-R-O-O-G-H. She has a YouTube channel here. A bird just flew in front of my window as I'm saying that, and Diana connects deeply to the birds like I do too. Um, but anyways, she's a very beautiful, powerful psychic medium, and you know she has a, her YouTube channel, so you guys can go check her out. She does one weekly reading a week, but her main gig is on Instagram at Diana Farooq, okay? And she's meta verified with the blue check mark, but she does daily card pulls with like a whole long thing, and she does like pick a cards, She's phenomenal, like every day, like I can't wait for her, like, you know, her message to show up. Um, so definitely go show some love over there if you feel guided, but she's like the real deal, okay? So it's funny because me and her talked um, a little after, like towards the end of February and at the same exact time that I was sick and under that dark attack for several weeks, she was too. She was too. She like had to like, she stepped away from the platforms and all that like I did. Like I was still posting and trying to do things, but it was hard, very hard. And then it was eradicated, okay? It was eradicated. Um, but I, it's just like, it's just nonstop. It's just nonstop. It happens in the astral. And then I wake up exhausted because even though I was sleeping, I wasn't really sleeping. I wake up and I feel like just so tired. And it's not just tired from the solar flares because that's normal. If you're feeling that right now, that's very normal. It's tired from fighting. It's tired. I'm tired because I'm a warrior. Many of you guys can be doing this too. Maybe you don't even realize you're doing it. Okay? 
But I also know that I am extremely blessed and protected. Ahamana. Ahamana. Let's get a little bit on that. Can you give me a little bit about the Ahamana, please? Thank you. Ahamana is very connected, like obviously to the Ankh, but it is very connected to Isis and Hathor. And the temples of Isis. And it's not just for protection. Look at the crow. Look at the crow. Oh my gosh, you guys, the crow. And then look at the star. See, my star seeds. Okay, so the crow, master number 22, and the letter A. That could be significant to you guys. But it's about remembering memories. See, this is about past life, mysteries, magical power. I'm telling you. I asked specifically, can you give me some energy just to show the collective that I'm not just sitting here making up words and calling it a, an affirmation? If you're new here, you know, welcome me amores. But those of you guys who have been here, you know, I don't play. I don't play. The crow is mystical. It's It, it comes to the shamans. It comes to the priestesses, the high priests, the magis, the witches, the healers, the medicine women, the medicine man. A new event or happening. See, I'm telling you, something's about to happen, you guys. This is big. And we have that, what, six planet alignment that should be visible from the sky, et cetera, et cetera. But that's going to be powerful, too. On June 3rd, I believe. You're a clever problem solver. You have unique, innate gifts of problem solving, of balance, of seeing both sides of the coin. When other people can't, you see through it. You're very observant, see? See? but you're psychically observant, an omen, a good omen. Third person, this is about outside energies or people projecting on you, third person. I mean, this could also connect to maybe a, a divine masculine, you know, something like that, or maybe they're remembering or, or re reminiscing and they're like diving into memories of you, but they might be with a third per party. Um, ooh, I'm gonna do a reading on that. Ooh, that's coming through very strong, number 18 and 22, okay. I'm all, I want to take a picture of these so I don't forget, but I'll just leave them out. But I'm, I forgot. I'm on my phone. <laughs> I can't take a picture. Someone else's influence. You have to release other people's judgments. I know it's hard. Trust me. The, the, the chains, the patterns, it runs deep. Especially if it's like your mother, your father, your sibling or spouse. Some of you guys can be married and you're going through a spiritual awakening, but your spouse is still asleep. And you're on one radio frequency way up here and they're way down here. It's a disconnect. You guys are no longer on the same frequency. It's not going to work. It has to end. Now, this is a tarot reading and it's for entertainment purposes only. But I'm telling you right now, karmic patterns, karmic connections, it is always for a season and a reason. It is meant for lessons to be learned and released and healed. And then you move forward. You balance your karma. So it's time to balance the karma. It's time to end the cycle for who this is for. You can't fake it till you make it anymore, honeys. We are beyond that. We're in the year of the dragon and the dragon sees all. You cannot hide from the dragon. Ju J June is a pivotal point. I'm channeling right now, so I'm just like, uh. June is a pivotal point in, in, in earth. Halfway into the year of the dragon, the six month mark. The six is all about abundance. Thinking six of pentacles from the tarot, it's about rewards, physical, material rewards from the divine. It's about all of the generosity and, and kindness and good doings that you have put out through your life and lifetimes coming back to you around this time and moving forward. The rest of this year will be catalytic for earth, for humanity. The closer we get towards the end of 2024 and moving into 2025 and the years to come. So it is time for us to be in divine union with our kingdom spouse. It is time for us to step into our healing work, our gifts, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be. People think, oh, well, you know, like you don't have to be a, 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 a psychic medium on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like I said, you could be an accountant. You could be a nurse. You could be a kindergarten school teacher. Okay? You could be a physicist. <laughs> you could be a psychologist. You could be a doctor. 
could be a mailman, could work at a convenience store, a gas station, you know, there's no judgment. And please, I don't care how much money you make, what you, what you do, where you work. I don't care if you make, you know, $10 million a year, or you make, you know, barely 20, $30,000 a year. It doesn't matter. I want you to know that you're infinite and this is your time to step up into that. Maybe you're not working right now. Maybe you're on unemployment. I was not working. I was on unemployment when I had the divine call to start my YouTube channel. It took me five months. In five months, I picked up the tarot. I learned it front and back and I started channeling. And when I did that, game changer, I was opened. I mean, that was because I met my twin flame. That was like a light switch and I'm not going to get into that right now, but I was already on my awakening journey for four years. Then I came into physical reunion phase with my twin flame and that activated me like crazy. It was like a light switch. Like one day it was just, I was Erica, whatever, blah, 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 going through an awakening, connecting to things and spirit, you know what I mean? But I was not like this. And then I woke up the next day and boom, I was just super psychic. My mediumship came in. I was so activated. I was freaked out. I was like, this is crazy. You know, um, people around me, they didn't believe me, you know, like family members and things like that. Like, oh, well, maybe you're just picking up on this or, you know, oh, it could be that, you know, like, you know. Um, until things started really, you know, I started to say all the, and then it was just like, holy shit, right? Then I picked up the tarot. I had the divine call to get the tarot. I learned the tarot front and back every day. It was with me everywhere. Everywhere I went, I would sit out. I was on unemployment. I wasn't working. So I would sit outside in the backyard at my parents' house and I would just connect. I would learn the tarot. I would watch the tarot. I would learn the tarot. But I'm self-taught. I taught myself. And I am opening up my tarot lessons, by the way. I always open them up in June and I know I've been saying for a couple months now that I was going to keep opening them, but you guys, I was not in the space to do that. I had to only concentrate on my clients with readings, Akashic record readings, with healing and the channel. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't take on more. I couldn't start my Patreon. I couldn't do the lessons. I'm not going to do something if I can't show up fully and be very, very like, you know, energetic and just there a hundred percent for you, right? I could handle my clients. I could do all that. That's just so right. Um, but to sit and like share and teach and do all of the intuitive exercises and psychic exercises and all of the channeling, you know, coaching that I do with my tarot messages or my tarot reading lessons. So I will be um, posting this weekend on either, either, no, probably not Saturday, not Saturday because um, Saturday, what is that? The 31st or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, Saturday, I will be at my nephew, my my baby boy nephew, okay? He is, gra he's graduated eighth grade. He's going into high school and I just cannot, my mind is blown. My mind is freaking blown by that. But it, we have his graduation party on Saturday. So Sunday, I will be working. I have clients already scheduled and things like that. So Sunday, I will do some recording for the channel and I will be posting the, um, all about my tarot lessons. And now while I'm, have the lessons open, um, I'll be talking about them, you know, and all the information will be down in the description box, like when I post it and things like that. Okay. So anyways, I know this was long. I don't care. Like I said, whoever finds it, this is such a beautiful message, such a powerful energy. Um, I just send you guys so much love. I thank you for being here with me. For me personally, I feel the dark clouds starting to right dissipate and all of the sun is like shining in. I'm feeling more of that love. I'm reconnecting again to like my very powerful cosmic self on high, high, high levels. I am being guided to start a second YouTube channel where I will be just doing like this channel, Gypsy Capital Tarot. I will continue to do twin flame readings, divine masculine, divine feminine readings and Zodiac messages. But my other channel that I'm going to be starting is very, um, it's, it's like priestess temple. Like you come and it's like, you're in a mystery school. We will be channeling. We will be healing. We will be going live. We will be doing activations. We will be doing light language. I will be doing readings like this. Okay. Where I channel ascended masters or, you know, messages from the archangels or whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. So it's going to be very powerful. And all I'm waiting for, it's the same thing I was waiting for when I started this channel, you guys. I didn't know what to call it. And I was thinking of all these things. And then spirit said to me, Erica, it'll just come to you. And when it does, you'll know. And then all of a sudden I was sitting outside in my parents' backyard again, right? And then it just hit me, boom. Gypsy cowgirl tarot. You're a gypsy cowgirl. Like that's who you are. You're a gypsy cowgirl, right? You got that gypsy soul and you are a cowgirl. Cowgirl spirit, right? Country girl all the way. 
So it came to me and it was just like so simple because it's who I, who I am. So I'm waiting for the same thing to come through with this. And if you are out there and you're starting something new, it's time to jump in. Know that you are supported. You are held. Don't listen to, look at rival. Okay, people like, they're like in rival. It's like people are, my whole life people have been in rivalry with me. I don't know. I mean, I do know why. I do know why. It's because I'm gorgeous. It's because I'm kind. It's because I emanate such powerful light and just, you know what I mean? Genuine energy. People have siphoned it. Lovers, boyfriends, they've siphoned my energy to nothing where I was just left with nothing. I felt like nothing. It took everything I had to get myself up off the floor to move forward, to, 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 to just go forward in my life, right? It's been like that. And I know it's like that for a lot of you guys, whether it's someone who's in, you know, comp like it's like, it's like one-sided competitions. That's what I've dealt with my whole life. People who are in competition with me, but it's a one-sided competition. Like, okay, you don't like me. Okay, you're competing with me. Like, what the hell? Like, okay. It's always been bizarre to me. It's very bizarre because I just, I don't operate like that. I don't vibrate like that at all. One, one, one on the timer. Now we're an hour and 11 minutes in. Okay, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you guys go. But I'm just telling you, this this card came out for a reason because there's, there's it says another person involved. But what I'm getting is just like too many hands in the pot. People trying to tell you what to do. You should try this, you should do this. You know, um, you know, when I, when I was like, I'm going to, I'm being guided, like I'm going to start a YouTube channel and that's what I'm going to do for a living. I'm going to start a business and I'm going to connect with my gifts and I'm going to connect with people and I'm going to bring love and healing. And I just, oh my God, this is what I meant to do. This is what I've always wanted to do is just connect with people and be with people and help them. And my whole life in work, like when I worked with Mac cosmetics for 12 years, I was a technical recruiter for a very like high profile recruiting company for tech in the Bay Area, in the Silicon Valley with all the big wigs. YouTube was a client of mine actually. eBay, uh, HP, um, Facebook, all of them. Like, okay, this was, talk about like, you know, again, this is like, I don't know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, something like that. Um, and then after I left the tech recruiting company, I became a, I ran a, trucking company in the Bay Area um, for the Northern Division. They had a Southern Division in Southern California and then a Northern Division here. And I ran about 50 people. And it was crazy running a trucking company. But I was familiar with trucking companies because my dad's been in that industry for my whole life and had his own, own trucking company and things like that. But anyways, my point is, is that I kept falling into these positions of leadership. I was a retail manager with Mac Cosmetics. I worked my way up. Leadership. Again, I ran this, uh, helped run the second highest volume flagship store, which did like 10 million a year at the time, I think, or something like that for Mac Cosmetics here in Northern California. The number one flagship store was, um, I believe, oh my gosh, Sun Valley or something like that in um, Costa Mesa. Okay, Southern California. So it was big. I, I ran a huge flagship store, helped run. We had like a team of people, but, and then I moved into a leadership role and then another leadership role. And now here I am in my true soul path as a divine teacher and friend and leader, but not a leader like above, like management, because I could never vibe with that. I loved connecting and helping people and being innovative and thinking of new ideas. And if we do this, it'll run smoother. And how do you guys like that? Like I always was like that. Okay, but in being in leadership roles like that in the corporate world, you have to fire people. You have to write people up, reprimand like that. I did not like, I did not like that. Like for Mac Cosmetics, getting written up because you're not making your sales goal because you're not shoving product down every single person's throat. Like if someone comes in and they go, oh, I just want to replace my foundation. We were trained to go, oh, like, okay, I'll grab that for you. You know what, have you seen our new blah, blah, blah and blah, 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 like, let me let me test a little bit on, you know, that was the game. And it was kind of sick to me. It kind of disgusted me, right? And I didn't even know why at the time because I was a star seed. And then I started getting physically ill. That job made me physically ill, sick, like physically sick, ill. And I kept getting sick and I couldn't understand why. 
But then I felt this like feeling of like, it's something about this environment. It's something about working here. So I left. When I left Mac, all that sickness went away because I no longer was being drained of my energy and siphoned. Even people don't even realize what they're doing. And me giving my energy away freely without realizing what I was doing, right? So anyways, enough down history lane with Erica <laughs> or memory lane with Erica. But I just want to share a little bit because I know that there's a lot of you guys who are newer on your journeys. Some of you guys have been on these journeys for a long time and you know you're a pro. You get it. You know what's happening. You know what you're doing. But for a lot of you guys, I always think of everyone. I'm a Libra, so I'm very balanced. I think of everybody. I want everyone to feel loved and I want everyone to feel seen. So even if you're new on your journey, you're maybe you just started watching YouTube. Maybe you just started watching tarot. Maybe you just found out that you're on a twin flame journey and you just learned the word twin flame and you're like, this is crazy. I want you to know we're here for you. I'm here for you and know you're not crazy and welcome. <laughs> I guess is what I want to say. Anyways, guys, I have more recording. I need to record um, Zodiacs and then some stuff for clients. Um, but bottom of the deck, very last card here is the stars. And we literally had, where's that card that said, um, star gathering. Look at that. The star gathering soul family. The stars are aligned. Look at that. I'm telling you you guys, and you know what I've been saying, you know, you know, you know, I've been, I've been predicting this. I said, when the weather heats up here in the summer energy or when around when summer starts, spring is ending, Gemini season, June energy, like when the summer gets hot, like right now it's going to be like, you know, I think 89 here today or 90 today. And I knew when the weather heats up that our love lives and the passion and the sensuality and all of that was going to heat up. And that's exactly what's happening. But it's not just heating up look at the sun, heat, heat. It's not just heating up love and shining light on love. It's shining light on you. It's bringing forth all of that for you, abundance, golden glory right here. So be confident, stand in your strength, your power, stand in that willpower, release people or situations that need to go and know that wishes are coming true. Know that miracles are happening for you now. Know that dreams are coming true. Know that you will be falling in love. Know that there, all of that prayer, all of the affirmations, all of the faith and the hope, it's here. It's paying off. Inspired. You can feel very inspired at this time to try new things or start something or do something or, you know, whatever it is. Okay. For some reason I'm getting zip lining, which I've always wanted to do zip lining. Um, for some of you guys, it might be like facing fears of, okay, like for me, um, I'm not afraid of heights really, but I am ter like, I, I'm terrified of like the thought of skydiving. I just, I wouldn't, I'm just like, I would never do it. You know? So for me, maybe facing a fear at some point would be doing that, overcoming it making it my biatch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you're my biatch. No, I'm not afraid of you anymore. You know? Um, but I don't know if that will ever happen for me with skydiving. Um, that I know a lot of people who have, and I know it's amazing and I would love to be floating in the sky, but it really scares the shit out of me. <laughs> that thought. Okay. Um, you are blessed. You are blessed and know that your star family is protecting you during the nighttime. Okay, but also it's very important before you go to sleep. This is just like basic, you know, energetic energy responsibility 101 with, with Miss Lopez here. Um, protecting your energy. Pro calling all your, when you wake up in the morning, call all your power back to you through all space and time, through every interaction, every timeline, and every dimension. And send out all energy that is not yours, energy that maybe you picked up in the astral, during the dream state, etc. Um, and then protect your energy. Shield yourself. For the whole, like for the day, right? When you go to bed, call forth Archangel Michael or whoever and shield yourself in a bubble of white light, protective white light, or Archangel Michael's blue blue flame light, you know, royal blue energy, like a big bubble, okay? Um, and that's it. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I know this was a long one. Thank you for being here till the end and I will see you soon.